Fairhope, Alabama is one of the nicest, cleanest, most charming places to live in the United States. Throughout its history, Fairhope has retained its identity as a resort community setting right on Mobile Bay. In its early days, visitors would actually arrive by boat from our neighboring city, Mobile. Because it's always been easy to enjoy vacations here, whether you're in a cozy bay cottage or if you're in one of the hotels perched along the bluff or in downtown Fairhope. And much like today, everyone is drawn to Fairhope for similar reasons. It's tropical climate, tranquil environment, and it's absolutely breathtaking views. But it's not just the beautiful weather here. So we're gonna show you exactly why visitors from all over the country often find themselves falling in love with Fairhope and the town's charming atmosphere, picturesque landscapes, and friendly locals. This is Love in Fairhope, Alabama. Many say this is the charming heart of coastal Alabama. It really is. Our charming little coastal town has a lot to offer for both its residents and its visitors. I'm Jessica Martinez and this is my partner and my husband Tony. We're local realtors who give you all the scoop down here in lower Alabama. And today we're going to share why everyone finds love in Fairhope. Let's start by looking at the typical housing costs you can expect in Fairhope. Fairhope has some affordable accommodation options, especially if y'all are willing to stay a bit outside of downtown Fairhope or the center of town, if you will. But before we delve into that, let's talk about what makes people fall in love with Fairhope. In the heart of Fairhope, you'll find some amazing beach homes and cottages, many of them nestled along the bay near golf courses or in gorgeous neighborhoods. And these higher end homes can cost anywhere from 500,000 to several million dollars and many come with lots of space, luxurious finishes, stunning views, award-winning schools. And just about everything you can ever want in a city for your family. I want a boat, can I have that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You, but you could have jet skis, a fishing pier, kayaking, you name it. But you personally, Jess, cannot have a boat. She's more fragile than a bull in a china shop. So let's just keep you with your feet on the ground for now. Wait, you said for now. So I'll take that as a maybe. There's no. still hope. There's still hope. But in the meantime, I'll just rent a boat from someone at Flight Creek Marina. Um, if y'all haven't visited the marina down here, it's a must. And this is where you'll find one of Panini Pete's restaurants, Sunset Point. I highly recommend it. Yeah, and here you'll find seating by the water, um, fried oysters, and their famous gulp snapper throats. This restaurant lives up to its name. You'll catch the most beautiful sunsets on the bay right here while enjoying dinner or a cocktail. Now, remember, we're still by Mobile Bay. We haven't even started to scratch the surface on what else Fairhope has to offer. I've never met a soul who doesn't like Fairhope's picturesque downtown. This is where you'll find coffee shops, bookstores, art galleries, antique stores, beauty salons, gift shops, soap shops, the tea exchange, a magical toy store, a pet shop. Oh, and I can't not mention the Fairhope store where all they sell is Fairhope merch. That's it. So as soon as you fall in love with Fairhope, you'll be wanting to get yourself something too. It's like there's an unofficial Fairhope fan club and we're in it. Uh, we have hats, tumblers, shirts. Oh, and speaking of shirts, every year the Fairhope store releases new shirts for holidays in Fairhope like Mardi Gras and they sell out fast. So don't wait when the time comes to snag one. And they have plenty of restaurants to choose from so you won't go hungry. And if you see me coming in hot on a golf cart, watch out. This is usually Tony's main concern, the food. <laughs> what can I say? I like to eat. <laughs> Speaking of, a fan favorite is the Fairhope Pier, where you can take a stroll or fish along our iconic pier. And now you can grab a bite to eat at the pier too. The Blind Tiger will be opening up soon and I cannot wait. Yeah, this restaurant sits right on the pier, so it'll be a nice feature. And it's right across from the scenic trails and Knoll Park where we're standing right now. You've also got North Beach Park where your kids can actually play in the sand and jump in the water. And I can seriously go on for days. <laughs> Okay, not to take away from downtown Fairhope, but let's start to work our way over a little bit. And just to give you all some reference, when locals describe Fairhope, you're going to learn that there's the east side of Fairhope as well. Which is along Highway 98. Then you have the west side of 98. AKA downtown Fairhope. Well, not all of the west side is downtown Fairhope, but that's definitely what you think of when you do hear it. Jess is right, again. You'll find lots of homes brand new homes, especially in places like Battle Trays, Colony at the Grand, or Old Battles Village. And those neighborhoods are super hot right now and some of the most sought after in all of their homes. And rightfully so, they're the closest to a planned community as you're going to get. 
and they have a ton of amenities. But living here does come with a price tag. I mean, the more modest houses start in the high $500,000 range and the monthly HOA can be up there as well, depending on which one you choose. But in my opinion, you get a lot of value for your money, including things like tennis and uh, gyms, multiple pools, ponds, parks. And if you're a member at the Lakewood uh, Golf Course, then you can take advantage of that, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, Lakewood is truly a one-of-a-kind course, but you won't see me and Tony playing here because he won't pay that much money to lose to his wife in golf. <laughs> sure, buddy. It's true, but I don't want to get into it because then I'll just embarrass him, so let's just move on. <laughs> She's crazy. She's so full of it. She can't even swing a golf club. But yes, moving on, <laughs> next you have South Fairhope and Barnwell. And real quick to give you all an idea of Fairhope's size, if you're up north on Highway 98, say by Fairhope's Rock Creek Golf Course, it'll take you about 20 minutes to cover the 12 mile distance to reach the southernmost point on the same highway. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say, actually. To me, South Fairhope is where you'll feel like you're out in the country and far from everything. There's a Dollar General, but getting to the Walmart or Publix might take 15 or 20 minutes. Personally, I like the fact that this is where you'll find homes on land with pole barns and horses and cows and chickens, everything you need to kind of feel like you're off the grid. And these properties can start at around 300,000 and go up to over a million. It just depends on the house you want and how much land there really is. Either way, there's a lot of options. Well, kind of. We have low inventory at the moment, so you're going to see more new builds than anything. The one thing about that is there's subdivisions to the east of Fairhope. Which is everything on the east side of Highway 98. What a lot of our clients love about Fairhope is how rural you can be while not being in the sticks per se. It, you, know what it, you know what I mean? All right, for example, you can be 10 minutes from the grocery store or a restaurant. And it can take 10 minutes, but that's not bad. It takes some of our clients more than that to get out of their subdivision. Yeah, or down one city block. And with the way Fairhope is growing, a lot of people don't mind to see that. Um, and I know you got what? Aldi and Walmart out there too. And then you have some of my favorite subdivisions like the Estate of the Brandas and Fairhope Falls. They're both pretty new and they're beautiful. Which are night and day from one another too. That's why I like them. One offers affordable amenities and the other has more luxurious amenities. Either way, you have something to look forward to. Exactly. The Estates is all about custom homes on spacious lots. Uh, it's perfect for y'all who are interested in equestrian friendly properties. And right now you can snag a lot from anywhere from I don't know, 100,000 all the way up to 300,000, just for a lot. These lots are for the custom home of your street. This is true. You can snag a house for under a million here, but obviously it's not gonna be custom to your liking. That's not all of East Fairhope though. Here you'll find homes ranging from the low $300,000 mark to well over a million bucks like we just mentioned. But overall, I'd say East Fairhope is a bit more ordinary compared to the lively and character-filled downtown area. One thing I can't forget to mention is the new and exciting Boardwalk Village. Um, by 2025, it'll offer restaurants, stores, condos, and it's not far from the Aldi or the Walmart that we were kind of talking about earlier. It'll be nice to have somewhere to actually go without having to cross 98 into downtown Vero, especially for everyone living over there. I think so too. Now, I know some locals aren't too thrilled about it, but those are the ones who aren't really happy uh, with the growth in population here anyways. For a city that has less than 25,000 people, I think we're doing all right. We're not growing like most parts of the country, but I do understand how 25,000 might be a lot to some. I just think downtown Fairhope can get pretty crowded, especially the restaurants. With all the new homes popping up, our population is on the rise, so this project seems like a great addition to the area. Maybe they'll add another brewery. I think one brewery in town is enough, don't you? No, not at all. That's why I said it. You can never have too many breweries. I don't think you can have enough Fairhope. And if you feel the same way too, then watch this other video we made all about Fairhope right here.